дамы и господа, вторую часть нашего гала-шоу открывают воспитанники Екатеринбургской школы фигурного катания, серебряные призеры этапов Кубка России, спортивная пара Елизавета Жук, Егор Бритков. Екатерина Елизавета Жук, Егор Бритнов, те са от Екатеринбург, локал кит. Те отворят нашата втората част от шоу. Да ви напомня, че сме в сега в Екатеринбург и ви гледаме екзибиции Russian National Championships final. Well, now on the ice we have four-time Russian National Champion and first ever in the history of Soviet Union and Russia, the only Olympic champion in ladies single skating, Adelina Sotnikova. Adelina took part in Dancing with Stars show for three months she was competing and it was a great experience for her learning all the different dance from different choreographers
many things changed for Adelina after the Olympics? Because appearances, interviews, TV shows. But now she's back to skate again and train. Uh, unfortunately, it was only sixth place at Nationals this year. But the level of the skaters is so good. We will see next Adelina in Art on Ice early February where she will be performing with Jackson 5 and Jesse Jane. It's gonna be a really good show produced by Oliver Hjoner for 21 years already. Choreographer for Adelina, Peter Chernyshev. He created this program as well. Five-time U.S. national champion. With Naomi Lang. They're both right now busy doing shows in Moscow. Naomi as well with Peter. Olympic champion Adelina Sotnikova. Adelina Sotnikova. always hard after the Olympics specifically, specifically after the Olympics come back with the break she tried she started picking up her technical quality but it was not enough to get on the podium We will wish Adelina better performances and more success in upcoming competitions. Now the youngster, Mikhail Kolada, who surprised everybody. His second place was well deserved and he's a new name in Russian figure skating starts with triple lots he has a great spring on his jumps trains in St. Petersburg with Valentina Chibotareva Last year he had a lot of injuries, that's why he couldn't compete, but this year he came strong. And we will see him at European Championships in Bratislava, end of January.
good sit spin. It's great to see uh, plain sit spins without any uh, additional moves that can show if skater able to do a good sit spin or not. Kogada skates in St. Petersburg Figure Skating Academy. There are two great schools there. One of them is the Jubilee Palace and the other one is the uh, Skating Academy. So he trains in the Skating Academy where also Evgeny Rukavitsin team is working. The other one is the uh, Jubilee where Tom Tamara Moskvina and Alexei Mishin teams are working. Happy kid, Mikhail Kalada. Mikhail Kalada. Silver medalist, Russian silver medalist. That's a great achievement for him. And we wish him all the best in Bratislava. Призеры международной серии ИСУ Grand Prix, обладатели серебряных наград чемпионата России Ростелеком по спортивным танцам на льду. Виктория Синицына, Никита Кацалапов. Виктория Синицына and Nikita Katsalapov, silver medalist, coached by Marina Zuyeva. Originally from Moscow. After Olympic Games in Sochi and competing at Worlds, Nikita split with his former partner Elena Ilinich and start skating with Victoria. Last season was not that successful for them. It was the first season for this couple. But this year, definitely, they show big improvement. became a capital of ice dancing early 90s Igor Spielmann moved there and start figure skating school then Marina
Marina Zuiva came from Canada to Detroit and start also working with Igor Spielband. And now she is on her own as well and has her own big group of skaters, successful skaters. And Angelika Krylova, another Russian skater, now wonderful coach in the Detroit area. So Detroit has three Russian coaches and they're all in different rinks competing against each other and bringing the level of ice dancing in the United States and Canada to the maximum. Good luck to Victoria and Nikita. They will be back after this to United States, getting ready for Europeans. Now the happy girl, wonderful human being, Elena Rodionova. Silver medalist, Russian national championships. Elton John She got this program right after disaster in Parkland, in Paris. And with this program, she would like to say a message to the people around the world. And the words are, we all know, of course, and that's what she wants to express with her skating. We all have to be in a good peace with each other and enjoy your life. Elena Rodionova.
already a world silver medalist. Yelena Rodionova. And Russian silver medalist. Also, she won the title last year at Russian Nationals. Двукратные чемпионы России в парном катании, призеры мировых первенств, двукратные чемпионы Европы. Юка Кавагути. Two-time European champions and two-time Russian national champions. Юка Кавагути, Александр Смирнов. Experienced pair skaters represented by St. Petersburg Skating School. Coached by Tamara Moskvina. <laughs> Starting with throw triple loop. They have the most difficult programs this year with two th throw quads. Quad uh, sal and quad loop. Um, this time they only went for one quad the competition, but they planning to do a two quads the whole season with all the other events. Back in China, they performed two quads. Second one was not that quad, not that clean, but it was already a big achievement. One of the best coaches, Tamara Moskvina. She coached so many Olympic champions already and has a great experience. Also, so many injuries to those guys in the past. But always they come back and try to prove that they can be good. They skate with joy and bring the quality, the technical quality to the highest place in our sport. Double axel from Yuka, but single axel from Alexander. Yuka originally from Japan, moved to Russia, first to United States, where Tamara Moskvina was coaching in New Jersey at the Hackensack Ice Rink. Now full time she is in St. Petersburg. Song called Ochi Chorne in Russian it means black eyes. Not a love song. They have unique moves and always come with good technique and difficulty, even on their exhibition programs. Yuka Kawaguchi, Alexander Smirnov.
Юга Кавагути, Александр Смирнов. Now we have the new Russian champion, sensational Evgenia Medvedeva. She has the highest score this season and ever in ladies figure skating. the Russian song. Think about Evgenia, she will go for difficulty even an exhibition program. Her mother was a skater too. And a triple toe. Triple loop, the triple toe, with such a confidence, definitely she will do, she will be the main contender at the World Championships this year, next season. Evgenia's father is Armenian. Mother Russian. She trains with Ateli Tutberidze, also half Armenian and half Georgian. Another triple triple combination. Already at the exhibition, two triple triple combinations that shows how capable she is to come and make a big statement about herself. Great job. Wonderful performance by Evgenia Medvedeva, new Russian champion.
Well, there will be an encore for her. Evgenia also doing three triple combinations in a row. And um, unfortunately, the rules are not allowing to make that jump in the competition, but maybe that will be changed next summer at the ISO Congress. One, two, and okay. <laughs> and a triple loop. Such a joy to watch her skate. Sixteen years old. She will represent Russia at European Championships in Bratislava and then at World Championships in Boston. Now we have five-time already national champions Ekaterina Bobrova and Dmitry Solovyov, also at the Olympics in Sochi. They got gold medal at the team competition. Russia, there is a very famous person uh, named Vyacheslav Palunin who created Peter of uh, the company called the show called Snow. It's a really interesting show where uh, some of you may be able to see uh, some of the pieces of that show at the Cirque du Soleil show, Alegria. And this music from that show, choreographed by Alexander Julin, their coach. Vyacheslav Polonin is now the director of the new circus in St. Petersburg, 
new renovated circus, the oldest one in the Soviet Union and Russian history. He inspired a lot of skaters. One of them, Igor Bobrin, back on 80s when Polonia started his show Litty Day. Early this season there was an accident happened with Dmitry. Um, his skates were stolen from his car and then when the thieves find out that that was his skates, they brought it back to him incognito. Katerina Bobrova, also socially active. She has her small blog on internet. Last year they suffered injuries and now they are back and defend their Title of Russian champions. Katerina's boyfriend, Andrei Deputat, skates with Vera Bazarova as a pair. Skating. I really enjoy their free program. Well, there is a New Year comes soon to the world, and this song is about New Year. Novigod, it means New Year in, Ru in Russian. Ekaterina Bobrova, Dmitry Solovyov. Fifth time they won the title. Russian national figure skating champion. И теперь после выступления в родном городе трехкратный чемпион России в одиночном катании Максим Ковтун. From Yekaterinburg on Yekaterinburg Ice Palace. Hometown boy, Maxim Kovtun, third time he defend his title, become Russian champion. Yeah, I interviewed him this morning mm. and he 
Tatiana is back, yeah, kind of Pat is back. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Interviews, interviews with skaters, uh, different skaters. So talking to Maxim this morning. So he talked about how much that meant for him, being able to win at home. But not only that, but being able to skate well, especially in the long program. And uh, his, he said his big goal was to do these five quads and two in the court and three in the long. And he was able to do it in a big um, accomplishment for him. And uh, he feels that will give him a lot of confidence heading into European Championships now. But he also said he still has to work a lot on many details. And he still left a lot of points on the table. Program choreographed by Peter Chernyshov. Who is the choreographer for Max. And been there for several years already. Coached by Elena Vodorezova Buyanova, representing skating school of CSK in Moscow. And once again, originally from Yekaterinburg. It's a strong skating school. I actually also just talked to Adelina after her performance and Adelina, she said um, he is, um, she, he will continue fighting. He's not giving up and she will, uh, she does not know if she wants to go to any other events this season. But uh, there are some still national events and uh, some senior Bs. And she's uh, a substitute as well for Europeans. And, uh, but she said she will continue to work and uh, hopes to be back there. She wasn't like 100% yet. She feels like she was at, a four, at 40%. But she wants to come back strong next year. And as I said before, she will be at Artonice in Switzerland from early February. Very funny and honest person. <laughs> yeah, just yes. because yes. this kind of program suits his character. <laughs> he got new tattoos. Yeah, he talked about his girlfriend too. She's a gymnast, a former gymnast. Mm -hmm. Was a competitor in gymnastics and uh, now has her own uh, school and is coaching. In Moscow. Yes. That was the triple axel. Skaters are not holding back in the exhibition anymore. They go for their jumps. That's why I was saying that it's good that they go for it. I mean, uh, we just looked at uh, Evgenia Medvedeva and she performed three triple-triple combinations on her exhibition today. Yeah, she likes to do that. And they can't redo really it in competition. It doesn't uh, give you points, really, because you cannot repeat so many triple toes. Yeah. And cannot do more than three combinations, and only one can consist of three jumps. I remember when Plushenko first competed at European Championships, at the exhibition he went for uh, five triple axles and four quads. Crazy. In an exhibition. So that's uh, his encore. Part of the long, free skating. Free, free program. I actually asked him about the program because I said, I'm sorry, I don't really get the program. <laughs> Can you explain it to me? And he said that he's sort of playing a, a person um, that has to be serious and everybody expects 
be serious, but when nobody is watching, he is just uh, having fun. Kind of suits his real. Now we know the libretto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, when nobody's watching, it's like fooling around. Maxim Koftun. His fans, the tribune of Maxim Koftun, the banner says. Yeah, he enjoyed that, competing and performing in front of his home audience. Now we will see another Maxim, not Kovtun, but Frankov with partner Tatjana Volosazar, Olympic champions, all around champions, and the team champions, two time Olympic champions. They are back this year to compete, and they are Russian champions. 2015-2016 season. It is their third national title. Husband and wife performing of the song from very famous Russian singer. Alla Pugachova and her daughter Kristina Orbakaite. The snowstorm. Yeah. The song is about the snowstorm, which affiliated with winter, Christmas, New Year's, skating, and love, of course. Composed by famous Russian singer Valery Miladze. Konstantin Miladze. they became husband and wife. Yeah, it was well covered by the Russian press. Wedding. Yeah. 
what he said in an interview. I interviewed them earlier this season, and he said, on the ice, we are not husband and wife. Mm -hmm. On the ice, we are partners. Good working, way to say. Working partners. Yeah. <laughs> Originally from Perm, and she is originally from the city of Dnepropetrovsk, Ukraine. Used to compete for Ukraine with her partner Stanislav Morozov, and now the coach, second coach, or one of the coaches. And representing Russia. Yeah, they've been skating together only since... Uh, 2010. Yes, it's will be six years. They skated together, uh, they skated uh, actually with their partners, with... Uh, she skated with uh, Stanislav Morozov and Max Trankov with his former partner, Maria Mukhortova, at the same show last time. It was a show we were producing uh, with Evgeny Plushenko called Kings on Ice, and they skated in the same show. It was their last performance, and I remember the, the, the eyes of Max Trankov when he knew that was his last performance with Mukortova. And Maria also, she knew that that was it for her. It was a very emotional moment to see how the life is going to be changed for those four people. And out of those four, Maria is in ice shows, Stanislav is the coach, and Tatiana and Max now married couple, world champions, European champions, Olympic champions, happy people. There is a piece from their program, from their short program. Which first time they heard when Johnny Weir was performing in the Fantasy on Ice shows in Japan. The costumes don't really fit. <laughs> <It's> funny, <laughs> Maxime in his sweater, <laughs> skating to the Indian music. Every time when Johnny was skating in Japan, we will all come and look at his performance because of this music was so rememberable and now they use this program for their short this music for their short program yeah it's good to see different styles not everybody always doing the same thing Call this only budget, only budget. And we make a fun. No, no, it's enterprise, enterprise. It's like a car company, you know? <laughs> <laughs> budget company. Because the words like very similar. At the dressing room, everybody was thinking, no, it's only enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> program, the last seconds of the exhibition of the 2016 Russian Nationals, here in Yekaterinburg, last performance with the top stars, now there will be the final with all skaters coming back onto the ice one more time. But it was a great championship. And there was a absolutely strong specifically in the ladies it was incredible championship and this will conclude russian nationals now we will go for the parade parade alle we call finals yeah, it was uh, general. Everybody, I also talked to some officials, and uh, everybody was very pleased with how the championship went. Uh, many strong performances, and uh, also the organization was good. Uh, 
So Maria Sotskova, for example, really stood out. Two clean performances. Now she's a substitute to their team, Rio Fiends. This dance team, very promising. Many were impressed by them. Tiffany Zahorski and Jonathan Guerrero. Sergei Voronov. Yeah, Sergei Voronov. He will think about his future. Quad, I hope. No, only triple toe. Ah, uh, give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Ember. This new team, Zabiaku Ember, also can be happy with their debut. Fifth place. Polina Tsurskaya. The current wunderkind of Russian ladies. Every year there's a new one. Triple, triple. What else? No problem. But disappointing for Yelena and Ruslan. Only substitutes for the European team. We were champions last year. Yeah, Lisa as well, reigning world champion, didn't make the team. The Russian national team for Europeans was announced earlier today. But um, I also talked to her and uh, she has drawn some conclusions. And she said it how, talked about how difficult it was after last season to get back into the rhythm. Gardy Gorshkov. Triple look by Gardy Gorshkov. Well, one day he will hopefully show his quad loop. But fourth place is his best result so far. And he's at the boards now giving autographs. Kristina Stachova and Sergei Rogonov, they're really a joy to watch. As I said before, I enjoy their programs, good choreography, interesting to watch. Anna Pogadillaya, she was so happy that she finally was able to show her exhibition program. She had prepared it and then in the Grand Prix she didn't skate well enough to be invited to the exhibition. But now... Now she was able to perform. Stepanova Bukin, bronze medalist. Alexander Petrov. Surprise place, bronze medalist Alexander Smirnov. Petrov. And triple axel. Good that for was. trying. Petrov. I respect that. Go I for it. Alexander Petrov. Uh, Alexander Petrov. <laughs> Petrov. <laughs> and he will go to Europeans, which is exciting for him. He's only 16 years old. Well, Yevgenia Tarasova and Vladimir Morozov just missed out on the European team. Because uh, Stalbogo Klimov have been selected. And Stalbogo Klimov this year showing very strong skating and will be exciting to watch them at Europeans and Worlds. And here, of course, another home crowd favorite, Yulia Lipnitskaya, who is uh, finding her way back and 
said that she's enjoying skating more than she ever did. And I think you can see that. Yes. Yeah, Delina, beautiful skater. Skaters already giving the autographs. <laughs> yeah, they're very popular everywhere. People want to take pictures with them. Take autographs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he almost jumped into the board. <laughs> almost smashed the skaters. Koleda. Very promising skater. Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Katsalapov. Yeah, they were so upset uh, that they made that mistake in the free dance, but now they're looking forward to Europeans and want to show two clean performances. Growing up, Elena Radionova. Yeah, she fought through a cold in this event. But she pulled herself together. She's a really mentally strong competitor. <laughs> Veterans Yuko Kawaguchi, Alexander Smirnov. Also glad to see that they made it back to Europeans. Where they will try to defend their title. But it won't be easy. And our champions, starting with Evgenia Medvedeva, Bab Baisyan. I'm always, always going to say that. I feel <laughs> good about it. One, two, oh. up. Oh. That happens rarely. That almost never happened. Because I'm sure she was going for that. She was going for a, for a third triple jump in a combination. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That was a fun number. Yekaterina Babrova and Dmitry Salavyov. Maxim Koftun. Max Koftun. Local skater. <laughs> Quad. Wow. Good for him. And Tatiana and Maxim, very popular, and they are such nice people. No wonder they are popular with the fans and also within the team. <coughs> so that was it. Yes, this will conclude Russian Nationals 2015, and we are all going 16. to, no, into the 2016 we go. Yeah, but that's Nationals 2016. They are the 2016 Fif champions. They are, yes, 2016 champions. 2015 season, 2016. Yes. We enter, and just want to thank you my dear friend Tanya, because you are everywhere, you are great, you are great help to the skating world and to me for this competition as well and I personally wish you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I wish to all of the viewers and listeners Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, stay healthy, all your dreams come true and have a great, great 2016 season coming up. Yes, we wish you the very best and uh, please continue following figure skating 
watch figure skating and if there's an event or show near your home go and enjoy it live come and join us on the ice anytime you have an opportunity happy new year, happy new year. goodbye bye thank you Ari. thank you tanya фигурного катания на коньках России, Министерство спорта Российской Федерации, правительство Свердловской области, мэрию города Екатеринбурга и всех, кто причастен к этому празднику. Мы желаем нашим чемпионам стать чемпионами Европы и мира на предстоящих турнирах в Братиславе и в Бостоне. И всех нас с Новым Годом! Спасибо всем! До новых встреч. До свидания.